Hello and welcome to this short recording on implementing COIC reporting in a UCCX environment. My name is Bruce Wilkinson. I'm a senior instructor with Sunset Learning Institute and I specialize in the contact center environment. In this video, we're going to show you how to edit a custom report. We'll customize a report footer in that edited report and finally show you how to develop a simple custom report from scratch. The platform we'll be using is COIC 12.x into a UCCX 12.x platform. To save some time, I've already created two folders. One, a reports folder, SLI Tech Talk, which will be the home for our newly saved report, and a similar folder in Report Definitions, SLI Tech Talk, where we'll save our custom report definition. The report we'll use for this discussion will be the Contact Service Queue Activity Report. And as you might realize, we're not able to edit a stock report. So to provide some editing capabilities, we first need to do a save as. We'll give our report a name. Let's just simply call it SLI Tech Talk Report. Our location will be the folder we created previously. And the report definition we'll use is the cloned report definition from the original stock report. We'll call it as well SLI Tech Talk Report Definition, and we'll put that in the folder that we created for just that purpose. This creation of these folders is not absolutely necessary, of course but would certainly be regarded as best practice. Let's click Save. And it would seem our report and report definitions have been saved successfully. To open up this report and then edit it, we'll simply go back to our Reports, SLI Tech Talk, and from there, our SLI Tech Talk report. We'll select Year to Date, and select all of the objects that are presented to us for the purpose of this discussion. We'll click Run. And you'll notice that our report is rendered. You might note that this is quite a handy report, giving us an abundance of detail against each CSQ in our UCCX platform. We're going to suppose for the purpose of this demonstration that we only want a report that's going to show us detail of the maximum queue time, calls handled, average speed time, average handles, and maximum handle time, and everything thereafter, we're going to say we don't need for this particular report. So to create that, we'll go to our Tools menu. We'll edit a view. We'll give it a new name. Let's just say Tech Support View. And our goal was to remove every one of those fields beyond, beyond the maximum handle time. If we look here in the right-hand side of this screen, we see all of the fields that are presented on this report by default. To remove them, it's simply a matter of selecting them and moving them from the selected to the available field. You'll notice I can select multiple fields at the one time, and I'll simply go through and get rid of each of these. Now, you may not think this is particularly practical. That's okay. Uh, all we're demonstrating here is how easy it is to change the view of these reports. Let's click Done. And you'll notice we've got a new looking report. Notice that this report is exactly the same as the stock report in that it is looking at the same report definition, but that by virtue of editing those fields, we've been able to produce 
a more focused report on what might be the requirements for the business. So that shows us how we might focus a report on those fields that are more important to us from all of the fields presented in the default stock report. If we look closely at this report, we'll see a couple of fields, maximum queue time and maximum handle time, presented to us in minutes and seconds, which is the default format for those fields. Let's imagine we would want those values presented to us in seconds only. So that really takes us to the next part of this discussion, and that is how we might go about changing those default values. For that, we'll need to go to the report definition driving this report. It will be under our Tech Talk report definition, and we'll simply go to Edit, click Next, and Next again. And notice here on the fields, we can find our maximum handle time in minutes and seconds, and also our maximum queue time, default minutes and seconds. To change these values or these presentations, we simply go to the pencil icon. We'll move the format from minutes and seconds to custom. And if we simply leave the custom format blank, the default custom is seconds only. So let's click done. And let's also go now to the maximum queue time. Custom, leave the format blank and click done and save. Go back to our report. Probably we'll need to refresh our report. And you'll notice now that the queue times and maximum handle times are now presented to us in seconds only. So you will note, of course, that there are opportunities to customize not just these fields we've selected for this demonstration, but by accessing the report definition, change the way those values are presented. And then the third and final leg of this short demonstration is to show you how to go about creating a custom report from scratch. This, of course, means a new report definition as opposed to cloning an existing stock report definition. So for that, we'll go to our report definitions. We'll click New. This time we'll select a report definition. We'll give our report definition a name. Let's call it SLI report definition. We won't worry too much about a description. We'll note the report definition type can be an SQL query, an anonymous block, a stored procedure, or real-time streaming. And for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll simply create a simple SQL query statement. We'll click Next. We'll need to select the data source, and this will be our UCCX data source. And we'll need to create then our SQL query. And the table we'll use for this demonstration is one from the UCCX database, of course. And I've chosen the contact call detail table as a demonstration. To do this in real life, of course, you would need a pretty detailed knowledge of the UCCX database schema and some understanding of SQL. Uh, query command sets. But to show you the principle, we'll simply do a select all from the table contact call detail. Simply by selecting next, the system will not only verify the validity of that instruction, but also create for us fields from that table. If we select Next, let's give our new report definition some properties, an author. We won't worry too much about a version. Let's, let's just call it 
version 1 for argument's sake and click Save. So we now have a successful report definition. In order to create a report that's going to use that report definition, we'll go to Reports. I'll click New, Report again. Let's just call this a SLI Custom. We'll click Next. Will be, of course, ask for a version. Let's call it version one. The location will be the SLI Tech Talk and the report definition that will be associated with this report is the report definition we just created. Our SLI report definition. We'll click next. We're happy just with one custom view. We don't need to worry about any thresholds right now. We'll simply click Finish, and we've now got a, an SLI custom report successfully created. We should simply be able to open this. We we'll, won't bother about any field filters, but click Run. And our report is rendered. Now, a thing to note about this report is that it is a true custom report in that we created for this report a custom SQL query definition. So we did not use any of the stock report definitions that come with the product. Now while this is a simple example with a little bit of uh, additional SQL expertise uh, with some join statements and dragging data from several different tables in the UCCX database, I'm sure you'd be able to imagine the ability to create reports which are specific to your business requirements. So that completes this three-step journey through CUIC in a UCCX environment. We've seen how to save as and edit a stock report. We've seen how we might change the way values are presented in that saved report. And we've seen how to build from scratch using a simple SQL query statement, a custom report. So thank you for watching uh, and be sure to check out the additional classes and products available to you from the Sunset Learning website. Bye for now.